sister. Was that you? Was that your tummy? What's your tummy make a sound? Hmm. What's your tummy make a sound? Oh, a squeeze. <laughs> and I will hug him and pet him and squeeze him. We wonder why my dogs are crazy. <laughs> Anyway, hello! Welcome to some wet ass hair. With my wet ass hair. I'm having my smoothie. It's very late. I did the thing. I did the thing. Where I made my breakfast really late because I wasn't hungry. I hate that I do that. I intermittently fast involuntarily every day. I don't eat until like noon or one even. And this smoothie, I've been sipping on it for like 45 minutes. Okay, let's do it. Rapid fire catch up. Go. Poppy and Lola left last night at midnight. I stayed up late for their pickup. They were a lovely, lovely pair of pups to have here. I would love to have them back anytime. They were amazing. Like such well-behaved dogs, so cute. It is nice to have the bed back so that there's only two dogs in it. And instead of four, a wi I look like a wine key. Like my hands were up like this and then like things are just <laughs> everywhere. And I'm like jackknifed, just trying to like sleep. Okay, so the second thing toned my hair if you can tell finally got all of that yellow crap that was like in the back I had some little spots that were just really visible to me and they drove me crazy so I have finally done the tan uh, the tone and this is my natural hair again and I gotta tell you it's gonna be hard to put my extensions back in because my hair it did get significantly longer and I'm loving it I'm loving touching it I can do this <laughs> Hey, hey, hey. You don't need to bark at that doggy. You can look with your eyes, not your mouth. We're about to take them for help. All right, so I, t I toned my hair, about to go do something with it. And then I tanned, so I have a new fresh tan. I redid my entire website yesterday, so it looks so good. Please go take a look. Click on things and make sure the links work. <laughs> like if you're bored and you wanna help me out and do me a solid, Please go look at my website and tell me what you think. I want to focus on the blog again and really, really dial myself into kind of where I'm going with things, which is women's wellness, women's mental health, women's beauty, natural beauty, working on feeling good on the inside and out. That is my focus. So that, that is what's happening. My friend, as I said, will be visiting this weekend, Emily, who is my best friend. I've known her since I was in my 20s. So she's actually seeing family and then she's going to take the train up to us for a three day, three days, three day stay. So we're gonna hang out, we're gonna do girl stuff. We're thrifting, we're baking. I'm gonna get as much as I can to fill this vlog full of goodness that this weekend I can almost kind of have it off and just get little clips of things here and there if I feel like we're doing something cool. But otherwise, it's gonna be a weekend of me hanging out with my friend and focusing on her. Um, the Wednesday one shot has already gone up. If you haven't seen it, please go take a look. It is about my kava kava tea. I swear to God, the reason why I think my tattoo didn't hurt as bad is because of the kava. Um, yeah, so that's it for now. That was my rapid fire. I'm gonna go blow dry my hair and get myself ready for a dog walk. We're about to go take the dogs on a little afternoon stroll and Lyle gets back from work. But I got two packages and I just wanted to open them. Figured I'd do it on camera. One of them is really amazing and one of them is kind of boring. <laughs> I've been wearing crop tops mainly also because I have ointment on it and I want the ointment to not get like absorbed by the fabric. But I can finally at least like pull things up to where I actually comfortably like to wear it. But I will be living in stuff that shows off my stomach. The area that's probably one that makes me the most insecure. So I just took something that made me feel a little bit um, terrible about myself and made myself fall in love with it because I've decorated it with a tattoo. <laughs> so there you go. If you don't like your thighs, slap a badass tattoo on them and then you love them. This is boring, but necessary. I uh, really want to get back to taking care of my nails in whatever nail color I'm doing. And the best way to prolong my nail polish is wearing dish gloves. And it really helps keep your nails from chipping. Ah, yes, and they have that soft lining. Oh, and these fit perfectly. Those are so nice. Now this package is actually really exciting. 
you guys remember last summer, I did a campaign with Joyous. And Joyous is a non-alcoholic wine company. It's de-alcoholized wine. Because I did that uh, sober video, I let them know, hey, just so you know, I shouted you guys out in the last video. I'm not expecting anything at all from you. I just wanted you to know that I gave you a shout out because um, I was doing a video on my sober story. And they literally sent their entire line of wines. Every kind they, look, the wine came. I'm so excited. They sent every single, hello. Hi. Every single thing they carry. Nice. Yeah. Let's have one. Uh, so we have the Joyous non-alcoholic Cabernet, which is so good. I mean, you can't tell at all that that's not, you just can't tell. This, I didn't even know they had. I've always had the sparkling. I didn't know they had a regular rosé. <gasps> I am so excited. And then here we have the sparkling ones, which ugh, we have. It's hard to have a favorite, honestly, because the rosé is my favorite. They're all so good. But the sparkling white, this flat out tastes like white wine. So if you're a white wine lover, you would love it. It's so good. And this is the OG. This is the first, the first one I ever had from Joyous and that made me fall in love with the brand. What I love about the brand is that they are a Washington local to me based woman owned brand. So it's just so cool that I can support my local women owned businesses. It's a small business and they just make absolutely outstanding non-alcoholic, de-alcoholized, however you want to call it, alcohol removed wine. It's so great because you feel like you're not missing out. This is the best thing to have to uh, be able to just sit. I want to be able to sit out on the back porch on our little bistro set that we just got at the end of last summer and barely ever enjoyed. I want to sit out there with her and just have evening chats and drink some wine. I think that'd be so nice. So yay, thank you so much to Joyous for this generous delivery. I'm just beside myself. I can't believe they sent this much. I was expecting if they sent me anything. I was not expecting anything, but they asked if they could, and I expected this. Just like one bottle, but no. They sent the whole collection. <laughs> So it's just amazing. Thank you so much to the team at Joyous. I'm delighted. If you guys want to ever try anything from Joyous, whenever I talk about them, I put them in the description. So I will link to their website. You can go check them out. They do ship. They also sell in various stores throughout Seattle. Oh, there's the owner right there. That's Jess. So that's the owner of Joyous. Amazing. The first 100% woman-owned and sober-owned non-alcoholic winery. I love it. What'd you get? Did you get a treat at the coffee shop? Do you know what my stomach tattoo did for me? It made me not hate my stomach anymore. Is there anything else in my body I hate? Because I'm just going to slap a tattoo on it. <laughs> Thank you. You too. Thanks. Alrighty. Look at this adorable little section of flowers. Everything right now is yellow. Everything that blooms, well, bluebells. But everything is yellow. And it's, it's all, all I've seen. Yellow. <laughs> Do you think I'm gonna stop and get video of these flowers? Oh my God, what? my first tulip sighting. This is a monumental moment. This is how you know, people, spring has arrived. Why are you turning it? Spring has arrived. There's tulips. And because I'm here, that makes four. <laughs> yes, it's that perfect time of the evening where the sun is setting between the trees and the ducks are out. I love it my favorite place to be about to make our food we are hella freshen it up tonight this is not an ad i wish it was i don't know how to get a hold of their pr because i talk about hello fresh and i eat hello fresh already i wonder if they do any micro influencer collabs 
that would be great. But we do a lot of the vegetarian. We prefer the vegetarian one the most. Uh, so tonight we're gonna have the Zatar roasted zucchini and pepper sandos. So yeah, good walk, really good walk. It was really, I can't believe how much spring has popped up since the last time. The Piano Sonata Number no. 2 in B flat minor by Chopin. <laughs> Friedrich Chopin. I, I love classical music and I just had my music on shuffle so right before this it was a Feist and Chromeo mashup that was so good. I noticed I was just screenshotting every song because I was trying to remember the song for something else for later. Like, oh, that would be perfect if I was doing this. If I was making bread, I would love to be listening to the Marche Funebre Lento. <laughs> like, I just, be perfect. But um, yeah, anyway, hi. I uh, just did this makeup look for a reel and a short and a TikTok. I mean the world it's mad that we have that so many things i really want to do a new picture for all of my profiles and for my youtube banner so i'm going to attempt to do a few different looks um not looks but a few different poses for those so hopefully i find something good i'm going to do it in my new room what i did with this makeup let me just tell you because this is five minutes and i've already just been bleh. Um, what I did with this makeup is I really wanted to just do a concealer, like, full face. I really like doing these fluffy brows lately. I think I'm going a little bit overboard. I'm sure some of you are going yes in your head because I'm making them pretty big. But I make them really big to start because they start to settle. So I just make them as big as I can get them. And then as you can see, they're kind of starting to fall into place and then that just makes them look fluffy. Um, so if you're somebody who doesn't really have brows to begin with, it's kind of nice, you know? It's nice to have these mock fluffy brows and live vicariously through, what happened? Where'd you go? Where'd you go? <laughs> My voice just <laughs> completely went away. Um, but yeah, it's just nice to have these, these pretend f fluffy brows that all the girls who never over plucked get to have, you know? But anyway, I'm going to go take a bunch of photos. Um, at some point, I was going to make some sort of like breakfast treat so that I can stop skipping meals. I've had a cup of coffee and I kind of want another one. <laughs> okay, I just took a bunch of photos. I took some for my YouTube ban banner, for my website, for my... Did I take a profile, a good enough profile photo? I need like a good, just professional makeup profile photo. Maybe I need to like have my brushes or something. And I like this top and this is very on brand for me. These like neutral tones, like white, black. Yes, I love my color. Yes, I love my florals. I like it all, you know? I just can't be somebody who only wears like a very specific style like and stays within that box I would get so bored like I have to be able to wear crazy things every now and then if I want to you know and just like I, I'm not going to live by rules or by a aesthetic or by a fashion movement or anything like that like I just wear what I feel like that day sometimes it's cr crazy and wild looking and then sometimes it's really dialed back and mature so it just depends okay well, anyway, I'm gonna sit here and go through my to-do list and see what I can get done. And I need to eat. Well, there's nothing like sitting down and taking a million photos and filming. Lots of snorting going on back there. <laughs> filming uh, of video, like four videos, uh, some reels, one main video. And coming back to a short that you posted right before you started all of this stuff and didn't see the progress it had made and then coming back to it all hopeful and then seeing that it's really not doing well. Like people don't like it. 
why? I wonder why. I don't see this. I don't know. I don't know why people, like why did four people give it a thumbs down? I've never had that many in my life. I've never had that many thumbs down in my life, ever. I mean, it's okay. I need to be able to like take it, you know, and it's not something that I should take personally. And I don't, but it, but the not knowing why is what bothers me. I don't understand why. And so I won't know to, to not, whatever it is, do it again because I don't want my videos to sink. I'm fighting here. I'm fighting my ass off <laughs> for these videos and for my at like 50 million businesses I do it at once to try to just make it as somebody who likes to create video content and beauty content and makeup content. That was a really, my eyes went to a bird that was cool looking. It looked like a sparrow. It had really unique wings. Um, if you're a smaller YouTuber, like if you're under like, say like 10,000 or something like that, five, even 5,000, if you're just smaller, if you're micro, you don't get the confidence boost and the reassurance that you're on the right path that people who have a larger channel with hundreds of thousands of views get you don't get that reassurance so you just put things out there for the amount of views that you're not sure of getting and just hope that it's received but you get zero reassurance or um like feedback or confidence boosts about it at all you just are just like okay here's another one gosh i hope that like this builds into something and you just keep doing that <laughs> and you just hope that it works and i wish that i at least saw a little bit more growth or a little bit more result i'm, I'm getting results lately more so than i ever have because i've been like working twice as hard but i just feel like if i had the following number in my mind and the view number in my mind i know i would still want to reach for higher but at least i would be at a plateau that i would be satisfied and just know that i'm on the right path and it can be so discouraging and so i'm like why don't people like it's just a stupid short that people aren't seeming to like very much i don't know why it does i get it's taking everything in my power to not go delete it it is very very hard youtube is hard if anybody tries to tell you differently try it okay some people just naturally it just naturally works for them and then other people have to fight for it and as much as i love it i love it i feel like god this can't be wrong because i love this so much it can't be wrong it's been like this constant just struggle of like why is it not landing? Oh, it makes me want to freaking throw up. This might be one of the most delicious pastas I've ever made in my entire life. <laughs> it is so good. It has grilling cheese, zucchini, tons of herbs. I even had a little like veggie stock concentrate that I mixed with some of the like um, pasta water to make it a little like creamy and then I'd put in a dollop of cream cheese as well. So it's cheesy and herby and buttery. Oh my God, I can't wait to eat this. And I, I will be sprinkling Parmesan on top. She is on a beauty content roll. And I, I really think the motivation is because I have so many makeup events. It just went really like silent after Christmas. Well, after wedding season ended really. Maybe I'm mentally and emotionally detached during uh, winter when it comes to makeup and then it reawakens inside of me and I feel motivated and I want to share all the makeup videos. Get my hair a little blowout. I'm going to get a mammogram actually and I need to get going now. So I can't dilly dally. I got to get going but I have no deodorant on. It's like the worst. I'll talk to you guys in the car because I don't have time. We're stuck in this house. I do that every time. Every time. All right. I'll see you in the car. I am here. I am at the 
Carol Milgard Breast Center. I've just like my mood's not been so great this morning because I'm scared. I'm like nervous about not the exam itself, but just like what's going on, why they needed to see um, me for a second mammogram. It's just like <sighs> it's scary, and I'm just hoping that I got nothing to worry about. Um, as I was driving in, the dogwoods were like blowing pink flowers all over the road. I'll have to show it to you if I can when I'm leaving. And it like almost brought me to tears because pink is the color of the breast cancer ribbon. I'm about to cry. And it was just blowing these pink beautiful flowers all over the road and I was like everything's gonna be okay. I'm so dramatic. <laughs> I'm so dramatic. Well I think I deserve a little treat. <laughs> All right, well, I'm gonna do multiple things. I have to go to the Compass Rose and pick out a little Prezi. I'm putting together a little gift basket. Emily and I are doing our birthday present exchange when she comes because both of our birthdays are in March. We are the exact same age and we were born the exact same year and the exact same month. And we've been best friends since we were in our 20s. So we were like meant to meet. I'm gonna grab a little gift here and then pop over to the store and grab myself a little treat. The lady at the actual like, um, who's doing all the x-ray imaging, she was like, so as she's holding my boob, <laughs> like pulling it into the machine, what's your little treat gonna be after this? And I was like, oh my gosh, it's so funny you said that because there was a meme that's going around that has been making me laugh for such a long time. Every time I see it, I giggle. I'm not sick of it yet. I've got the goods and I have my maple bar. <laughs> I think I just met my elder alter ego. I just met the most fabulous woman. I was at the little Washington Lotto machine you can stick money in and my dollar was flappy. She rolls up behind me and I'm turning around to like see if there's somebody that can exchange my dollar for a crispy one and she's standing there. She pulls out like her billfold and this crispy dollar and hands it to me and I give her my floppy one. I said, oh, thank you so much. And then she had a Louie bag sitting in her cart that was like one of those new duffels. I couldn't tell if it was new though, so I just said, oh, is that vintage? And she goes, no. <laughs> and I said, well, mine is, and I kind of showed it to her. And she goes, oh, what a beautiful bag. And I said, yeah, it's, it's pretty old, but I love it. And um, she had on like hex hexagonal, very like classic Hollywood looking glasses. Her hair was pulled up, her nails were done. She's probably like in her 80s. She had on like a very chic trench coat and her huge bag that was like the size of half of her body. I wanted to be her friend so bad. I just wanted to be like, tell me all about you. Can I come to your house and just hear your stories and talk? Like, I would love that. I bet I specifically have an interest in women who are just absolutely fabulous like that. Like, not that they have to be rich or anything like that. I just wanna to talk to women who have good taste you know, she had amazing impact, and I told her that. I, I was picking my receipt out of the thing, and I just it was kind of, I kind of saw her outfit, and I said, you have amazing taste. And she said, thank you, darling. This woman, can I be her? I'm gonna be her when I'm older, I swear. God, my skin looks kind of nice like this, doesn't it? I kind of like this makeup look. What do we think, comparatively to yesterday? See them side by side. The hair's different, the makeup's different. It's just showing the versatility of makeup you know what i mean i got some bananas i got tomatoes i got things to make my smoothies with i got some salad toppers strawberries i got microgreens because i want to sprinkle these on my eggs in the morning on salads all that good stuff um, and then I got my maple bar. My husband's calling, so I'm gonna answer this, but I'm so excited about this maple bar. Good morning. <laughs> I don't know why I said it like that. 
there's a little elf inside of me. <laughs> Hi! I'm, uh, I have a lot to do today and I've been up here just dicking off and that's annoying because I, the obsession with content and building things and trying to make stuff and doing things and filming things, I burn myself out because I just go so hard with it and then it's like, this is what I was talking about when it's hard as a micro-influencer because like at least when you're an actual person who's like, inf I don't even call myself an influencer, but like, you know what I mean? Creator, whatever changes every day because people get sick of the same term but it just it's harder because you I say it's harder because you make and make and make and you have no guarantee of making any money from it and it's frustrating because you're expected to work at the level of somebody who does it for a job and you don't well I mean you know I get minimal work out of it and I would like to do this as a job I get so frustrated I'm ready I'm ready I logged back in last night and it was one thumbs down. It went down to one. How did they go in reverse? What causes that? It's so, it's so strange. Like it's so strange. Uh, <coughs> oh yeah. It's the only time I can hit those notes. All right, here's the, <laughs> here's the crazy outfit. I just don't wear, first of all, I'm not usually a pink person, but I'm a neon person. So I guess if it's neon, and it's almost kind of orangey pink, but yeah, I would say this is neon. Looking in the viewfinder, it's so bright. So yeah, if you guys really like this set, uh, you can use my code, go thrifting, and get your own, because that's where I got it. <laughs> thrifting is where it's at. All right, I'm gonna do dishes. I'm gonna start my bread, get that going, and yeah. giving myself a headache but I got so much done today I just mopped tidied all this up it smells amazing in here it smells so clean my husband is at his sister's to visit his nephew so I just got the whole like afternoon to just I'm just in power cleaning I'm power cleaning but my head is killing me so I need to just go lay down tomorrow is all errands and picking up Emily so I'm gonna actually end this video here I didn't really do too much like exciting stuff which I feel like hopefully these types of videos are okay they're really just around the house kind of things I have some bread little slice off the end that's gonna have to be it. My shower's running, I better go get in it. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed, please subscribe, and I'll see you on next week's. Bye.